Yes. Yes. My anime what? OTP? <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> Who would I ship? <laughs> uh, my gosh. Careful. Really? Oh my gosh. I only get this one chance, okay. Alright. Ichigo. Oh crap. I mean, I'll tell you what, Bleach, like, uh, there's, most of the time there's like a ton of screaming in Bleach, and so, like, after a couple hours, you know, we usually get through about, like, two to four episodes, and if there's a ton of screaming, we usually try, I try to push it off until the end of the session, you know, uh, but, uh, yeah, sometimes that one, you know, but it's not, re I mean, like, I, I know whenever the, I can't remember which arc it was, but he was going through, uh, you know, not only him screaming, but then Hollow Ichigo was screaming, and then full Hollow, Hollified Ichigo, or whatever it was, that beast with the horns thing was screaming, and so that one was, a, that one was m much more difficult, because it was just like, the whole time, like, ah, and then, you know, then, you know, doing that stuff. That was, that was the hardest one. I don't remember, what was that, the Iran cars? That was the Iran cars, right? Yeah. Oh, that was a line I made up in there, the, uh, was it the visors, when he walks into that cave, they're like, uh, Ah, so you finally decided to join us. And in the Japanese, in the script it said, you know, he just goes, No way. But I changed it to, Bite me. <laughs> because that seemed more appropriate. Like, I, I didn't feel like, No way, was like, cool enough for Ichigo, you know? So I just said, Bite me. And, uh, they kept it. And you can go, I think, I saw some, a while back, I don't know if it's still up there, but like somebody did some, uh, like, Bleach movie trailers. <laughs> it's like, Bleach the movie, bite me. <laughs> and it's just Ichigo saying, bite me, throughout the whole thing. <laughs> Alright, uh, dude with the uh, bandage on your head. Have you ever played any games you voiced? Play any of the games that I voiced? Yeah. Um, I've, I, occasionally I try to, you know, like, uh, I'm trying to think of the last one that I tried to do was uh, Tales of the Abyss. Because, um, uh, but, but here's the thing, don't clap yet. Uh, I'm terrible at games. And so, like, I uh, started playing, I'm like, oh man, I don't get to beat myself yet. And then, uh, I met myself a little bit, and I was like, there I am! And then I went away, I'm like, oh man! And then I just gave up, because I was terrible. <laughs> I mean, it took me like, I don't know, like you guys could probably beat, uh, what was it, uh, Kingdom Hearts in probably like a couple days, right? I mean, it took me like, like almost a month to beat that first one. I don't even think I finished beating it. I think I gave up, like around Christmas time, you know? Like, as in, during Christmas, I'm sitting around, like, eating Cheetos, I'm like, what's going on with my life? I can't beat this game! And then I found out, like, I didn't even know, I'm so stupid when it comes to games, because I just don't play them. That, like, I, I realized, like, well, my health thing is a lot bigger now. I'm like, oh, am I supposed to train a lot to make that larger and last longer? And I'm like, this is dumb! <laughs> right, but it actually makes sense, but I was just really lazy at that point. I was like, man, I'm gonna go work out. <laughs> you gotta change my life. 
have eaten Cheetos. I love Cheetos. So I switched to peanut m &Ms. All right, uh, let me see what's, how much time we have. All right, I got 10 minutes. You guys want to hear a story? I, don't, I haven't been here in a long time. So, I, okay, let's see. I've got the, oh, the, the homeless woman quarter story. Or, yeah, you want to hear that one? Who has heard that, that story? Okay, so who hasn't? Okay, so you guys really have Do you guys want to hear that story? It, it might take up most of the time, maybe it does. So. Alright, this is a true story. True story! Real world, no? Just me? Okay. It was a long time ago. Uh, okay, so. Whenever I go to work, I take. I have to stand up, sorry, I know. I'm like, no, I'm standing up for this one, man. This is gonna be good, though. Uh, that was me pretending to fix my tie if you didn't know. Okay, so anyways, when I go to work, I take the freeway, and I show up at work, I come back home, take the freeway, and then usually there's like, a, there's, there is an off ramp, not usually, there's always an off ramp, it doesn't disappear. But uh, <laughs> so there, I take the exit, you know, it's like the off ramp, and there's like a, a light there, and uh, there's always like this homeless guy sitting on the corner, and I mean, you guys kind of know this kind of idea, like you exit the freeway, and there's a homeless person standing on the corner, and you're in your car, and you're driving, and it's weird, it's like, I, I always would just be like, ah, no, dude, you know, just ignore him and not look at him, um, and, uh, and, you know, I just, I turn left to go under the overpass, and then I keep going, right? And so this one day, I take the, the exit, I'm on the off ramp, there's like four or five cars in front of me, and it's a red light, and, uh, I have this Ziploc bag, um, of carrots that I have scarfed down that were left over from lunch, I'm just eating, you know? And this monster truck pulls up behind me. Big monster truck, and I can't see who's inside it. It's a tinted window, but I feel the pressure of this monster madness, you know? And I just feel like, if, as soon as this turns green, I need to start going, or this guy's gonna go and run us all over. And uh, I don't know why I was thinking that way, but I was just panicking. I was even eating faster with my carrots. And, uh, <laughs> like, that would make a difference. Um, and I glance over expecting to see some homeless guy standing there with a sign that flips like three times and God bless you and uh, because nobody pays him he's like God bless you means something else and those guys and then so anyways I'm sitting there you know and I look over and I see this homeless woman in the corner you know and it's I, I hardly ever see a homeless woman you know and so um, I'm I'm from this, well, from Texas southish right it is south but uh, like I, my heart went out to her you know and I was like like, I was raised a certain way, like, help women and children, you know? And, and so I felt bad for her. And uh, in L.A., you have to pay for parking. So my cup holders were full of quarters, you know? And they're just piled over. And so I'm like, I have this empty Ziploc bag. I'm going to scoop up all these quarters. And I grab every single quarter. I threw it in this Ziploc bag, zipped it up. I'm like, dude, this is like two or three pounds worth of quarters. This is awesome. I'm just going to go change your life, you know? And I rolled out my window. And uh, like I said, it's like four or five cars, so it's from like, like me to the, the middle of the room. And I reach, my, and I've never done this before, I reach the bag of quarters out like this, you know? And she sees me, she's way over there, and she puts her side down, she's like... <laughs> I was like, what? How's this, what? <laughs> I don't understand this, I've never done this, am I supposed to get out? It's like, I can't throw, this is my left hand, I throw like a girl that hand, it'll fall right here. And so I was like, what am I supposed to do here? She's not going to come get it. I thought they would come get it or something, you know? And so I'm standing there. As I'm thinking, like, how am I supposed to do this? The light turns green. These four or five cars in front of me, they, they just take off. And so I'm like, oh, I better start going, you know, because the monster truck's right behind me. You know, so I start going. And as I'm going, I'm like, oh, wait a second. Now I'm going like 20, 30 miles an hour. You know, and like, how am I going to, like, exchange? How's this exchange going to happen? Am I going to throw in her gun? She's going to be, who got it? You know, or what if she holds on to it too long and I pull her into the car and run her over or if she pulls me out and kills me and I start to panic, you know? And in, in, in this moment, I have this, this epiphany and I'm like, Johnny, you're a martial artist. Just focus. <laughs> and, uh, and I thought, all I had to do at 20 or 30 miles an hour with uh, the two or three pound bag of quarters just go like that. I'd watch it gracefully land under her, her hands. So as I'm going and I'm approaching her, really fast. I'm like, okay, Johnny. Now. <laughs> and and I, I make a joke out of this, but if you've ever been in an accident, 
time totally slows down. And I think, really, like, God is up there going, oh, wait, 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 wait. Jesus, Moses, come here, come here. Watch this, bring the popcorn. It's going to be good. And so as I'm going, 20, 30 miles an hour, right? Two, three combat cords, I'm going, and I'm like, and I release this two pound bag of quarters, and I watch as it flies in the air, 20 or 30 miles an hour, and smacks her in the face. Oh! The bag rips open. Everything is still slow motion, so I see the quarters glistening in the sunlight as I pass her. Streets around the corner, like, and I just keep going because there's like no way I can turn around and see if she's alive. So I just keep going. <laughs> and I'm thinking from her perspective, this guy just tried to kill me with quarters. You know? This guy, the monster truck guy, is a dude, slow man, you're supposed to get out walking to her, man. <laughs> and so, like, that's a true story, totally embarrassing. Um, <laughs> and I guess if there's a lesson to be learned. Don't give homeless people money while driving your car! True story. And I, I think about this. Here's, a, here's some more truth to this story. After that day, like before that day, there's always been a homeless guy there. After that day, never again. Like, I'm not even kidding. There's never been a homeless person there after that day. So in my mind, like every time I pass by, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I'll see her and I can say, hey, you know, sorry, here's another dollar or something, you know? But I never see anybody there, and I think in my mind that, you know, the homeless guys are all meeting under a bridge somewhere in the fire, and they're like, hey, where's Sarah at? Oh, you didn't hear? She's dead. <laughs> Some guy killed her with quarters. <laughs> just enough to bury her. That was my joke for the homeless. But I know, come on, hey. I mean, it's true, though. I don't know if she's dead. What'd you say? Uh, five minutes? Five minutes. You guys want to hear another story? Here's, a, here's an embarrassing story. Um, okay, so I'm uh, walking in this uh, parking lot. It's a bright sunny day with my wife. We're walking. You know, and she's starting to joke like, I'm taller than you. And I'm like, you're not taller than me. I'm taller than you. And I'm like, you're not taller than me. She drags me over this van. Like I said, it's a sunny day. You know that big back window or whatever, you know, you can see your reflection because usually that one's tinted. So we're back there, it's on the side, like the larger window. So we're standing side by side to look at ourselves, our reflection, because it's like a mirror. And so you're standing there and she's, she's like doing this. I'm like, stop, look, stand up straight, stop, look, stand up straight. And I'm looking, I was like, see, I'm taller than you. She's like, no, you're not taller. And then we're doing this, we're poking each other, laughing and pointing and laughing and pointing. You guys know those 3D images, those pictures on the wall when you stare at them long enough? You see like a dump. You know, a dolphin, and then there's like an ocean or something, right? And a ball in the sky, right? You know what I'm talking about? Magic guy, is that what it's called? Okay, so like as I'm sitting there, you know, we're joking, we're laughing and pointing the whole time. I'm staring at this tinted window, and I'm like, wait a second. I see a pair of eyes. <laughs> looking at me. I'm like, huh? And, then, and it becomes clearer, and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's a woman in there. And as I look down from her eyes, I see that she's breastfeeding her child. Oh! Oh! So for over five minutes, we've been standing there pointing and laughing at her. Oh! Oh! She's like, what's wrong? I'm like, There's a woman breastfeeding her child. We turn and I look back at the lake. It's like stepping out of her car. She gets in her car and drives away. Top it off, it was a church parking lot. Oh! True story. She thought she was safe. Breastfeed my baby, breastfeed my boy. So, anyways, I just spit, that's awesome. Hey, uh, thanks for coming to the panel. Please come to the music. Thank you so much. We'll see you guys there.